steak fajitas, BLT egg sandwiches, and whole roasted chicken with potatoes. You can cook each of these meals on one simple sheet pan, saving time and cleanup. So you cover it, and then that way, that's your whole doing dishes. Yeah, you wrap up and then the you foil. just kind of peel it off and wrap it up. Okay. Mark Tarbell, owner of Tarbell's Restaurant in Phoenix, is showing us how to whip up these one-pan wonders. First on our list, sheet pan steak fajitas. So I'm going to grab a bowl and start doing everything. I, okay. You can even buy these chopped already in the, in the grocery As store. As if I don't already buy everything chopped. Mark adds roughly chopped cilantro to three sliced bell peppers and an onion. Now I'm going to kind of start with my oil. That's the base. That gets it going. Then he tosses in some onion powder, salt, pepper, oregano, chili powder, and cumin. And then paprika, which gives it some lively color. Thank you, I'm Hungarian, I appreciate it. Oh, you are? That's Ooh, so cool. Yeah. Now I'm gonna just do this. You can either toss it like this, you know, like the chefies do. Oh, that's good. Roast the veggies in an oven at 350 for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna put a little beef on that. I would say more than just a little bit. A lot of. And then we're gonna add a little beer. Because, you know, why not? And then he uses the same spices he used on the vegetables. So now we're going to put this on here. Then also those flavors meld together, especially the onion and the marinade. It goes back in the oven for at least 12 more minutes or until the steak is cooked. And here is the finished dish. Delish! Next on our list, BLT egg sandwiches. So here's what happens when a BLT meets an omelet? Yeah, that's it. So we put it all together. So we got the eggs here. Then we got some milk. That kind of loosens it up, makes it nice and creamy. We toss in three chopped scallions and a diced tomato. A Little bit of oil, that also helps kind of cream it up a little bit. Then Mark adds chopped cooked bacon and tops it with cheese. I like to put the cheese on top. I like it to actually brown up a little bit and caramelize. Yeah, there we go. And little trick, you've salted it a little bit, but just throw a little bit on that cheese, it pops up the flavor. Oh, that's a great trick. Bake at 300 degrees for 25 minutes and slice it into squares once it's cool. Toast the rolls, add your egg, and top it with arugula. Voila! And finally, whole roasted chicken with potatoes. Everybody loves meat and potatoes, yes. right? Can't go wrong. Especially a great chicken meat and potato dish. This is like extraordinarily simple. First, Mark makes a marinade with olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, thyme, chili flakes, salt, and pepper. And I'm just gonna quarter these potatoes and throw them in this little bowl, and we're gonna marinate them. He tosses the asparagus into the marinade too. Yeah, and we're just gonna do this and dump it around and pour a little bit over the chicken. See, this is how easy that is. Mark tosses on salt and sticks it in the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. Look how beautiful this dish is. We posted these recipes at thelisttv.com. They're really good. Sheet pan dinners, a solution that delivers a delicious meal with less dish duty.